Welcome to my Let's Play of Mini Metro. This is, I believe, episode 8, St. Petersburg. Having done all the previous ones, which were London, Paris, New York City, Berlin, Melbourne, Hong Kong, Osaka. So now it's St. Petersburg. Transport passengers to and from the islands in the Neva? Never. My best is 832, and I've played this scenario for less than an hour in total since I've had this game, so not very practiced at it, but we'll give it our best shot and see what happens. Well, the starting position... oops, got that wrong. The starting position is not bad. In fact, we'll even make it a nice little enclosure to start with. And seems to start by giving me a unique symbol very early on. So we'll run that through to the square station. Uh, if memory serves me correctly, which it probably won't, though it will expand the map yeah, sort of downwards, as it obviously just did, but also, and that's got to be a nice sharp corner down the bottom. Uh, so to, it will expand it to the right and up as well. So I expect more stations in this gap up here, probably more in here. That gap you can just currently make out of the top, I'm sure that will happen as well. It's given me five, five tunnels to start with. In total I've used one, but if it gives you five tunnels to start with, I'm pretty sure it expects you're going to need them. So. I am thinking that I'm going to spend a lot of time drawing lines across a river and trying to make that work. Now, my current plan, which is probably not going to work as well as I might hope, but my current plan is to have the red line cover most of this chunk in here. Uh, this is preferably as an enclosed line, and I may have to redraw parts of it to get it to be nicer. I think I'm going to redraw it now, so it goes away from that. Oops, that station to make it more like that. And again, I've got a sharp corner up here as well now. That's unfortunate, but once I get another station somewhere down here, which I'm sure will occur, and then I will have another line going across this river. And if I get this right take away any sharp corners and oh yes you appear to only get five possible lines on this scenario rather than a more normal seven which will make this a tad more challenging than normal because it will mean more stations on each line which will require more trains on each line rather than being able to use extra extra lines to in different sections to deal with the number of stations but hopefully it will all go swimmingly well and everything will be wonderful and the sun will shine and life will be great there again of course we will end up with unique unique stations in this little section here already three three different ones which is going to mean that at least for the moment this triangular station is going to become the hub of where everything gets put to wait for for passengers to be able to transfer to these unique stations now I'm gonna try and see what this looks like if I it may cost me more tunnels now either way I'm going to end up with a sharp corner which is not not what I want so I'll do it that way and this time I will use the third line to go across this part of the river and again connecting to the square station which I only have the one of so it's got a square, a triangle and a circle all on the same line and that was very kind of it because it didn't give me another circle station right next to the, the current one which is what I normally expect from this game these days because it's horrible and perverse like that frequently I wish I could 
Well, well, we got a square station somewhere else, so which means I can take it off that one. And as I said, I could expand this down, to, and that gets rid of that sharp corner and square, circle, square, triangle. So that's a nice mix. And this green line is being very friendly, which I find very unique. Now, I have a spare line which I'm not using. I could go for a carriage or I could go for the fifth line now. I think I'll go for the fifth line now just to have it in reserve so if I do use a fourth line somewhere up here say or somewhere down here then I've still got a backup emergency line for when I need it the carriage may be in theory a better idea but it's six or one half a dozen the other and I I probably make the wrong choice but you pays your money you takes your chances and I will run the green line man there, even though it puts two circles together, which is not the most efficient possibility. But at the moment, it's not that major a problem. It may become that bigger problem, but for the moment, we will have to survive. Uh, great, now I'm going to get end up with three triangles in a row down here, but at least it's flattened out the corner. And I'm willing to trade a bit of inefficiency for a flatter, faster line. He says that now, so with you know, the confidence that he knows what he's doing, which anybody that's watching the previous Let's Play, and I've now got a sharp corner back, knows that, yeah, I may sound like I'm confident and know what I'm doing, but it doesn't normally turn out that way. But again, at least it gave me a circle down there between, between the two triangles, which helps make that bit more efficient, even if it then has to deal with the sharp corner. And I'm trying to remember, my high score was 830-something, I think. Okay, we'll go with the sharp corner there. But we can but travel hopefully and think that maybe I can exceed my previous high score. Of course, just because I'm hopeful doesn't make it true. And I'm about to get to the end of a Sunday, which is good because I want the locomotive and I want the carriage. Oh, and that's going to be another circle. And I really want more locomotives and carriages, but I flattened out that corner, which is nice. Mm -hmm. I could, in theory, extend this line out to the, that, that circle. But I don't think it would greatly increase the efficiency. Mm -hmm. But I will, for now, give the green line the extra train and the locomotive, even though the red line could use them equally well. And I will change the green line so that it goes to that square, then that triangle. So I don't have to put two squares in a row. And we will also run that over to there and to help out with the problems as a temporary solution. Oh boy. We will do it that way around. That should seem to work, and I still have a tunnel left. And I really could do with getting to Sunday so I could have another train. Well, that dealt with that problem for the moment. I wouldn't say it's going swimmingly, but it could be a lot worse than it currently appears to be. Thankfully I still have a tunnel, so I could, if necessary, do something with that, but for the moment we'll run that up to there. Not
not entirely sure what I want to do next. Apart from quite possibly that, just to try and help alleviate that for the moment. Got a new locomotive, carriage or tunnels. Whichever one I choose, I'm going to choose the wrong one. Because it's me, that's what I do. So, we will hope that we can get something right. And we'll give one of the blue line trains the carriage. Again, as always, uh, okay, that's, well, that could be worse, two square stations together. Would have been nice if it had been different, but we need to run this quite possibly straight there. That would probably be a reasonable, it might slow down a train as it crosses the line for a moment, but... And I don't want to use my last tunnel if I can avoid it. do with a carriage for the red line. That would be helpful. But my carriages are currently being well used where they are. Well, that might make a sharp corner, but it's, again, making that slightly more efficient. Well, to a degree, anyway. Although I may use the op change the plan and use the orange line over there to help make the green line shorter. Yeah, I think I'm definitely going to have to do that once I get to Sunday and get another train. I'll run that over there, just to keep that under control for the moment. But if I make the put the orange line over here and try and find a way of making it more slightly more efficient, or at least shorter, then that way we have a chance of keeping up, and that way I've still got the purple line as the emergency line. All I need to do is get to Sunday so I can have a second train, or another train, to help out. And again, we get tunnels or a carriage. Well, I said I wanted a carriage. Right, and now we'll pause the game while I figure this out. Yes. Okay, yeah, this is not going to be particularly efficient, because it's still going to be four circles in a row, and if I'd taken tunnels or I had another tunnel, then perhaps I sh could have done this differently, but I really can't, so what we will do, however, is that, come here, good boy, I don't I don't want to do that, but that'll keep the corner nice and flat. And we can run that through there and through there as well. And we'll see how that works out. And of course, if I do that, then I get... Well, we'll use you. I really don't want to do this, but... We'll join it to the circle. Right. And now I want another tr oh. Now I want another train for the orange line. Okay, not great. Definitely not great. just to keep things moving. And this is a pain. I'm trying to hit the right part of the X so that it closes down the line. Uh, so because the uh, thing is underneath. The Ujima flip, the whatchamma call it. That's what I said I was going to do. I was going to give them a carriage. Right. So whilst that's dealing with that, I can then 
do stuff like this. Oops. That was not intentional. Alright. And then we can do that again. Oops, and that square station is becoming a bit of a problem. Come on! Darn thing. Okay, well we're still surviving for the moment. We've almost reached Saturday, which means, again, having almost reached Saturday, which means I've almost reached Sunday. Okay, I got enough of that to allow it to work. Again, we'll run that one down there. That seems to be the, the challenge at the moment is I need something to either split these circles up or I, again I need to put another train on this line preferably with a carriage which may take away the pressure from that one and this is definitely becoming a problem and even if that blue train goes through it it's not going to be enough because the red train is dumping more stuff here than it can deal with. Okay, well, we're going to do that. Oh, will you do that? Yeah, we got problems. We got many, many problems. They really need to de redesign that interface. Go, oh, and that one's going to go. And I, yeah, that was my own fault. I didn't look over on the right to see what was happening over there. <coughs> Excuse me. But I did manage a score of 901 at passengers over 45 days, which is a new high score for this scenario for me. Hopefully you enjoyed that. If not, well, that's life. Maybe see you next time. Bye.